Hi, hello fam. I am here to help y'all get your channel situated because I've noticed a lot of people don't have their popular uploads on their home page. Notice I'm up underneath home, right? And if you don't have a laptop, you could do this from your phone too. Just type in YouTube desktop mode. So listen, if you're a newcomer, this is the video you'll see. If you've already subscribed to my channel, you'll see a Pringles video in this place. But newcomers, this is the first video they'll see. So as we scroll down, you notice I have videos first. That is every single video that you've ever posted right there, okay? Next, you'll see I have my popular uploads right there. Wow, that Medea has 23,000 views. Wow, thank y'all. So you kind of want to have it lined up like this. And then down here, you'll see the shorts, right? And then down here, you'll see my awesome channels, which is also um, some of my members. And there, there's more down there if you click the over button. So many have asked... How do you set this up? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go up here and click on my little icon. We're gonna click on YouTube Studio. And we'll just wait on that to pop up. Okay, my screen is white. Just give it a minute to load. And then over here, on the left hand side, you're gonna see a little customization button, right? So you click on that. And we're gonna come over here. You'll be at the channel dashboard once my computer loads. And so like I said, newcomers, they'll see this, this video at the top. Returning subscribers, they'll see the Pringles video, okay? So that kind of helps boost your channel, right? And then down here, you'll see where it says featured section. So, for example, let's say you don't have popular videos already, already right here. See, I already have my popular videos right here, right? Let's say you don't have it. You'd go right here, click add a section. And then you could click right there and add your popular videos, right? I don't put my live streams on there because... Once your live stream has aired and you're monetized, that um, that live stream no longer makes money. So once you're monetized, you can really just make your live streams private or whatever because they don't make money after, after you live stream. So that's that. So let's say, let's say I have my shorts in place of my popular videos, right? Notice over here, this is a mouse. But if my popular videos was down here on this row, you'd wave your hand over there and now it turns into a hand, right? So you would just take your mouse and drag that up right there. So your popular videos would be second. So that's that part is real simple. And then of course, once you're done, you would go up there to the top and you would hit publish because you want to make sure that it's done, right? Then, um, I wanted to show y'all something else, what I'm going to have to do. Let me see. How do I show it in here? Let me see. 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 Um, let me see something. Let me see if this is it. That's not it. I'm looking at the wrong thing. That's not it. Dang it. What I'm going to do right here, if y'all are still with me, um, I'm going to add a screenshot from my YouTube studio from my phone, okay? Because they recently updated this YouTube thing. So basically they're saying, and you'll see the screenshot. I have nothing to hide. I'll show y'all. Basically they're saying... A thousand views a video 
a thousand views on one video, you're only making a dollar and 43 cents. So yes, as you see, I got some playlists going at the top of my screen to help some channels out. Yes, it helps run somebody's playlist, but what playlist do you want to run when you go to somebody's channel, right? Well, so once, once again, let me go back over here to my channel. Let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see your channel. Let's click on my channel. So what really helps a creator, y'all, make sure you don't have no ad blocker on your computer or your phone. Make sure you're watching the ads and stuff because the ads do help. I know a lot of people will click the skip ads, but that doesn't help a creator, right? So when you're over here and you want to help a creator make money or see a check, you want to come down here to where it says popular videos and click play all. That's what helps the creator get paid. And some people will say, hey, I'm running your playlist. But in reality, they're only running 10. And then they're moving on to watching a movie on TV. That that hurts the creator's channel, right? If you can't sit there. If, if I have 900 videos up underneath popular videos, right? If you can't sit there and run them all. Please don't run mine at all because you're hurting my channel and my analytics by doing that. So we have a little crew in the background and we all help each other run each other's playlists. And um, my crew, y'all know who y'all are. I really do appreciate it. It does help. I know a lot of us haven't seen a check in a long time because of this change. And then, like I said, I am going to... Um, share that screenshot because it's going to hurt a lot and then you know when we go live now let's be honest we're only lucky if we get one to seven people in our live stream right nobody's super chatting um so that that's hurting too if you're if you're really on youtube just for the money right and i don't suggest anybody be on youtube just for the money because I haven't seen a check probably since January. Um, be on YouTube because you like to be a creator or because you like to meet new people or because you like to just make videos or show the happiness in your life or you want to spread joy with somebody, right? And or like you want to advertise something like this Medea right here when I got that. I didn't even really pay attention to the name of that washer. It was a guy here on YouTube. He kept pressuring me, you know, Jessica, why don't you go get a smart washer? Please, please get a smart washing machine. So I went in Lowe's one day and I looked around and I'm used to the washing machines that have the agitator in the middle. So even the old school washing machines that was in Lowe's, y'all, none of them had an agitator, I think, except for maybe like one or two. They were all the washing machines without an agitator. And I didn't want to go with an old school washing machine. So this is the one we ended up going with. I thought this was going to be the one that sings. Like my friend's, my friend's smart washer, it sings like... Like, you know the little sound that it makes when Mario's getting the coin coin on Mario Brothers? It's kind of like that. But, um, it doesn't sing, but I'm going to tell you this is the best thing I pro probably could have invested in my life because I have no longer had a $300 light bill ever since I bought this thing. For some reason, this thing right here is saving on my light bill, so shout out to you, Matthew. Um... Was something else I wanted to say here too. I forgot what I said. Um, and do like little giveaways too on your channel, even if it's a ten dollar Amazon gift card to help get your one k. You know to bring more subscribers to your channel, or if you are a live streamer, put subscribers mode on so they can subscribe. You know your mod. If you have a managing mod on your channel, they can actually cut subscribers mode on for you. And for beginners on YouTube, I highly suggest live stream at least 30 minutes every single day because those videos that you're putting up, 
you're you're gonna realize once you get that one one thousand subscribers, you're nowhere near four thousand watch hours. You can get the four thousand watch hours quick by live streaming. Because back in the day when I used to do a thirty minute live stream, I would get eight hours of watch time just off a thirty minute live stream. And you don't have to stay live. I don't know who's out here telling people they gotta stay live three four hours. That's not true. Not at all. If I was to go live right now, more than likely it would be a 30-minute stream and then boom, I'm trying to hop off of there because I'm not making any money off of a live stream. The only way I can make money off a live stream is if someone was to super chat me or become a member. And that's it. That's it. That's all. That's the only way I make money off live streams. We don't make money off live streams or shorts. Even though we like to upload shorts, shorts we upload to bring subscribers to the channel. So if you go down here, let's just go down here for a quick second. Like this video right here, 996 views. That bought subscribers to my channel. We're losing focus. This brought subscribers to my channel. This brought subscribers to my channel. These little bitty views. These are my main subscribers, right? The two, what is that? 282, 299. These are my main folks, my, my day ones, right? But when you see high numbers, these are new people coming to your channel and subscribing, okay? So anyway, I wanted to throw that out there and I wanted to throw this out here too. I uh, think I don't went to somebody else's channel. No, that's mine. Um. I know a lot of people are like, hey, I can't afford a laptop. I can't afford a computer. Yes, you can. When Black Friday comes, Best Buy always has laptops on sale for $50. Always. Be the early getter. Grab it, grab it while it's hot. And you don't even have to wait till Black Friday. If you want a desktop, you can go on Amazon and you can get a tower for as cheap as $80. And just get you a monitor. You can get a monitor like, what, $30, $40 at a pawn shop? And ta-da, hook your stuff up. And and you got a computer. And it, it's simple as one, two, three. And then you can sit here and watch watch movies or whatever you want to do while, while you're just simply laying in the bed. And I hope this helps somebody out there. And here's where I'm going to add that screenshot where I'm going to show you that we're only making a dollar and 43 cents if you get a thousand views on one video.